Can we move on to the AEW world title match? I'm interested in getting your thoughts. <laughs> is there any is there any further mystery to the question, will Wardlow be a main event guy in this company? You know, I am such a sucker. At one point during this match, it's like, you know, I started convincing myself, like, if he wins here, even though he's been used like such dog shit for so long, this is a big house, a lot of attention on this show, next segment after the mercedes Monet debut, if you were ever going to try to do something with Wardlow, right now may be the moment. And then they zipped right past that moment and choked him out again on live TV. And I'm like, well, there goes any moments going forward with Wardlow. Well, but actually, and I don't know whether this was intentional on Tony Khan's part or the part of anybody in AEW, but for once they dodged a bullet. Because finally, after all this back and forth, start and stop, he's a baby face, he's a heel, he's here, he's gone. What the, the bad angles, bad booking. Wardlow gets a match with Samoa Joe, the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, and I I don't know that Samoa Joe has ever compared himself to a Terry Funk or a, technically to a Jack Briscoe, but I've seen Samoa Joe have a lot of great matches, haven't you? I was on mute. There was no dramatic, oh, I'm sorry. There was no dramatic pause there, ladies and gentlemen. I was yeah, on mute no, for a moment. Yes, I have seen uh, Samoa Joe have many great matches. Well, it, if this is the best match he could have with Samoa Joe, then they dodged a bullet. Wardlow needs choked out and left by the side of the road. This was the shits. This was the... And Joe not only laid back and let Wardlow do things to him, tried to sell if he could, tried to work the match where Wardlow was more physically dominant. Even he was chopping Wardlow and Wardlow wasn't go backing up as far as when Wardlow would hit Joe. Joe tried his... Wardlow is the shits at having a competitive match. Apparently, that's why he gets his biggest cheers when he just power bombs job guys. He jump-started it. They immediately went to the floor. And, of course, this, again, the booking is odd for crowd reaction to begin with because Joe is a heel, a heel champion that is cheered by most of the audience, except when he's against Swerve Strickland, another heel, in which case Swerve is more popular. But Wardlow's being presented as a heel here, but he's not over because of all the screwy booking and being involved with Taven and Bennett and call this whole group that it was even death even to their faithful fans. So they're not really going to be chomping at the bit, jumping up and down, throwing babies in the air to see this anyway. But they go out and they stay on the floor, and Wardlow is leading Samoa Joe, this 300-pound Samoan submission machine. He's leading him around the floor in a fake fight with his palm of his right hand on the back of Joe's head. Joe's head is as big as a basketball, and Wardlow can't palm one, apparently. It's just Joe is is going for him. He's bumping for him. Wardlow's punches look like shit. He at one point, you see Joe shoot Wardlow off corner to corner, and obviously Joe must have said, "Back el watch the back elbow," because when Joe runs in to give the back elbow and then turn around and do his fucking kick to the head that he always does, trademark spot. <laughs> If you notice this, when Joe runs in for the back elbow, Wardlow turned and tried to give him a back elbow. And so he turned sideways and Joe crashed in with his elbow and didn't sell Wardlow's and then gave him the kick. And now, But he's lost. The guy can't be led. His basics suck and he looks like shit. And he had an opportunity to be a big, dominant, wild-ass motherfucker and get all over the goddamn AEW world champion and impress somebody. I'm talking about somebody in the back. I'm talking about somebody in the business. Tell us why you need to be pushed. Here's your opportunity, big -a boy. And it was the shits. And by the time they got back from the break they took in the middle of it, it was in quicksand. Hey, you know... <clears throat> And then they did a spot where Wardlow faked the knee injury. And then 
came back to hit that shitty looking knee lift that he does off the rope where he's holding the guy by the neck and that doesn't translate. Then he misses a senton. This guy can do a perfect senton to the middle of the ring. He can't throw a punch or a fucking kick. And then they did a little awkward back and forth and then Joe got the sleeper on him and choked him out. The end. Holy fuck. Just make him a bodyguard. At this point, if he ain't got it by now, I wouldn't hold out a lot of fucking hope. Is this one of those things like a Goldberg thing? Like, he was great at being Goldberg, but he's not necessarily great at working, especially in his early days, a long match. Uh, well, yeah, but... Match. It, it, that, well, that's the thing, is that he's not even like Goldberg, because Goldberg was... He was visually and over as a personality standing there. Wardlow looks like a fucking accountant where steroids ran rampant he's got a normal face he's not like you know he has nowhere near the he screams and you can tell he's probably not a hothead in real life because when he screams and yells it's like he's losing his mind rather than he's mad you can tell he's probably one of these fucking guys sits the corner plays video game looks at his fucking telephone and and it, so it, it's not goldberg is fucking head-butting lockers and firing himself up to fucking punch holes in limousines. He's going out, Wardlow is, and playing a part like all of his friends go to work and play parts instead of be what those things are. And it, But no, if this is his work by now with the AEW champion, give it up. Sorry. Uh, and then Swerve came out and beat up security and hit the ring with a big logging chain, but Joe walked out laughing at him. And that's what happened there. I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. I can't tell you you're too wrong. Again, I thought for a little while they may do something crazy just because, you know, the big crowd, and <laughs> they were giving him a little bit for a while there, and then he's choked out. That's the end of Wardlow, right? I mean, it should be, but not with the, in this booking environment. No, it doesn't have to be, but it should be. And that's the thing when I say that Joe was laying back, letting Wardlow do his stuff in a lot of this. And he'd fire back with the punches or whatever, but he gave Wardlow plenty of open to be. If Wardlow knew he was having that match and didn't come in with five fucking spots that he wanted to pitch to Samoa Joe to make himself look like a goddamn beast, and more than just punching and kicking and doing moves and getting on a guy and rattling him around the fucking guardrail out on the floor. I'm talking creative shit, fucking actual goddamn wrestling moves that end up in, in some fashion making him look like a monster. It was just blah. It was two guys with concrete boots. Anywho, 